Mitch, I don't know what we take away from that 7 0. I guess at half time you probably weren't that happy. Oh. With two goals, but mm, a little bit lax of days of call at the back at the start. I, I, thought, I thought it was, um, I thought we was all right at the back. Uh, we'd done what we needed to do. I thought it was quite lively with the two boys up front. I think up front we was quite wasteful and keeping possession we was quite wasteful. Now the areas to attack was the full-backs, full-back areas for us and we had to create the overloads because of their shape. Um, we did it okay, you know, but for a top, top team that we're trying to be, okay is not good enough no more. We're not playing against okay teams. We're playing against top, we, we competed against top, top sides to try and be the best or one of the best to try and get promoted. Wasn't happy to say the least. You know, had, had my say. And uh, just, just little things, like one of the boys were um, arms folded, leaning back in the changing room, and I just thought we was casual. And I thought that was the, the, the theme of the night, especially until half time, we was casual. And it sounded really weird. I said, lads, I've just picked you up on, on leaning back. But that's the margins of, of, of being really successful or not. And, Second half, you know, we, we did, we turned it on, didn't we? Certainly did, yeah. I think we've also, you've got to give them respect, they've travelled a long way on a Tuesday night. Things like that, I, I, you know, it plays in my mind. The travelling, 60, 65 minutes, are they going to burn out? I think they did, I think they did. They, but they were a good little team. Good, good, good pair of gaffers. Um, Mitch, um, I'll ask you, Mitch. Mitch too. Yeah. It is. Um, <laughs> Do you think, from your side of it, they paid a price of trying to play too much football when they came? Uh, potentially, but everyone's got their own style of play. They've, they've got to play their way of football. And it's, you see it when teams come up against us, they sit back, eventually we break them down. It's happened plenty of times this season. So they thought, we'd come here, we'll give it everything, we've got nothing to lose. So they give it a go. First 10 minutes, they had a few chances. We had a couple of chances as well. but. I mean, fair place for trying, but I think after a couple of goals went in and then the kick up the backside at half-time, it, sort of, it was a bit too much for him in the second half. I thought their, their front two were really lively. Levi Steele was a great player. Great, great player. He's a lively little lad. Big lad, to be fair. Um, and I think he's right. I think they, they have their own style where they don't fear anybody. And it wasn't just that. You know, you can factor in uh, the travel with them. I don't think the scoreline would be the same if it was a Saturday. You know, they've just finished work. You know, they're probably a bit tired. You know, it's local for us, it's a long journey for them. But ultimately, we're worried about us and what we do, and, and I thought we was fantastic. I guess looking at it now, um, we've got 12 games left, eight are away, four at home. This is when the real hard work starts. Yeah, yeah. How do you continuously get results <clears throat> on the road? And you're going to be on the road now for the next three games. We're um, we're blessed with real nice facilities here and a real feel-good factor around the club. But let's 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 make no mistake. We can mix it with the best of them, and we like an away day. And we like rolling up our sleeves, and we like getting getting down to the nitty-gritty, you know. And, and it is the business part of the season, and we are right up there and in contention. And you know, we don't care about position. We just want promotion. But we've got to battle really, really hard and we've got to fight against some really outstanding teams to, to, to stay in the top one, top two. You know, the, the golden prizes up there. Um, it's all about mindset and it always has been. We've always dreamed of it and, and, and thought about it and wanted it, but now it's coming to, to reality and we're here and now we've just, got to, we've just got to carry on doing what we're doing. Luck's got to be with us, but fortune favours the brave, all of them, all of them cheesy cliches. Um, but biggest one is take every game as it comes. Yeah. Just focus on your next game. Don't worry about the league table. We get our results. We'll finish where we. We don't. To we be. don't care that we're top tonight. We don't care. We don't care. It's where you are at the end of the season. Where we are at the end. We are at the end. Yeah. Every everyone now, the same as Hinkley. You know what I will say about Hinkley, Pagnall. You know all these big sides is we've done really, really well. All of us, Hinkley, us, rugby, the uh, Pagnall. We've done really, really well. We're top, top sides. And I've really, really enjoyed this battle. And there's 12 games to go, and let's see where we end up. With the support, especially from them ultras as well. Oh my God, them boys. <laughs> them boys make you feel like, don't they? They make you feel like you're, and we, are a massive club. And they need to come home and away. And I'll make sure, ultras, that there'll be 
a, a coach for you lot for every away game till the end of the season and leave that in. 12th man. 12th, 12th man. man, massively. We spoke briefly on Saturday with the injuries and things like that. You took Molly and Ben off. Is that purely um, just the rest of them? Because we would, you know, obviously look like we are going to win the game comfortably. Well, we was... Sorry, sorry. Don't. And Sam Preston, is he going to be out for a while? Sam Preston's um, it's just stiff. So he wasn't included tonight. We had enough numbers on the bench. At one stage, we had all our back line, depending on our shape, on the bench. Um, and then we had Freddie Robertson fill in, Dan Cooper fill in. Henson at right back. Henson at third. Uh, Bullshit left back. Uh, uh, Bartley at right back, sorry. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, Bartley and and Henson holding. Yeah. And still solid. Still solid. That's testament to our side. That's testament from the recruit recruitment from staff, uh, how we set up our uh, ability to you know, play a number of positions. I think we're all right. We was going to dip into the market, but I think we're all right. And that Ansu coming back. It's yeah. good, good to see him score as well. Yeah. His first game back. Reese Honis, I thought, played really well, considering uh, he's, just had a, he's just had a little nipper. Um, Joel, Joel was showing well, Everything went well. Though. Everything went well, yeah, yeah. Uh, to be fair, it's that bad. We don't even know his, his boy's name. He hadn't even told us. Has he not? No. <laughs> Hopefully it's Arbor or something like that. <laughs> Harbourhonious. <laughs> okay then, guys. Uh, well, I think we'll uh, wrap it up there. Yeah. Top man. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you for the good work, Michael. Cheers, right. mate.